try launch at 2000. See how everything goes. Hey guys, it's Alex, and this video is going to be on the red car. I'm in the red car today. For those of you that don't know, it's a naturally aspirated 6R80 equipped uh, vehicle. It has a 6F converter, GT350 intake, GT350 throttle body, Stita open air element cold air, stock trans, 373s, and headers, uh, ultimate headers and free flowing exhaust. Uh, pretty basic bolt-ons. I mean, intake, headers, E85, and the gears to me are not really uh, the make or break uh, on this car. It also has a drag pack, meaning um, lightweight, you know, a weld S77Ds, and a 30545. 45, 17 drag radial so what i'm gonna do today because the weather actually started to cool down in florida now cool down to me is 70 degrees but i have to drive it all the way to mexico luckily this car gets to mexico in about 15 minutes it's pretty fast so i'm gonna see without any traction compound i'm not gonna use any traction compound today all i'm gonna do is uh run it on the street tire or on the uh, et street r just a, a dry burnout and see if I can get better than an 11.7 on the street. A couple of customers of mine have copied the setup except for the 4C converter and they've cut like a 1.7 to 1.6 60 foot time at the track and they've gone 11.4. I don't think this car is ever going to go the same at the track than it can here simply because of the 60 foot. Now there is a couple of ways I'm going to remedy that. I'm going to buy a set of Phoenix or Hoosier bias ply slicks for the back because irs and slicks are favorable for a couple of reasons it seems to just work on s550 mustangs and irs with slicks and the traction compound that i've been using i want to give it the best shot possible so that's gonna basically mean i'm gonna use a slick and everyone that races on the street uses a bias ply tire the drag radial in this configuration is not giving it a fair shot. So I want to give everyone that, all the companies that I bought uh, the traction compound from, Stripper Glitter, uh, Skinny Screegit Sauce, uh, Pimp Juice, Dead Hook, all, I want to give them all the a fair shot. I'm not going to go out there and make their products look bad by you know having a, a, a subpar setup. So. Uh, weight mods for this car simple uh, I just removed the passenger seat nothing else you can see the rear seats are still installed and the stock uh, seat is in place I could go crazy and gut everything but you know that's that's when I want to go max effort I just want to see how fast this setup can go so it has cooled down uh, to in the 70 degrees and I'm hoping Mexico is also 70 degrees so let's get out there make some hits record it with the draggy, everyone knows what a draggy look like, that's it. It's just a little guy like that. So I'm going to hook up with it with Bluetooth. I have another camera that I'm going to try to record with, and we'll see how everything goes. All right, let's get out there. What's mind-blowing about everything is how traffic all of a sudden shows up when I want to do anything. Like, it's like it's like the golden rule. Like, Alex wants to go out and do shit. Traffic. Like, it was dead two seconds ago. And then I will stop. I'm going to do a burnout. And there's cars everywhere. These Mexicans love to just drive around for no reason. Anyway, this is also a good opportunity to show you guys how to do a burnout in a 6R80. It's really not that hard. What you do is you floor it and let it go through some gears. I hear, I see a lot of guys going, wah, bah, 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 wah, 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 I'm like, like in sport mode. No, shithead, you just go over. Yeah, yeah, do a quick burnout. Let me get everything going. You just floor it and let it go through at least three years. That's it. Oh shit. Fucking cars. See? Fucking cars. Unbelievable. So I'm going to stop in some familiar spots right here. Give you a one, two, three burnout. 
show you that it's really easy and then I'm gonna uh, you know start recording here's a burnout guys
car launch at 2000. See how everything goes. impressive how everything has gone with this red car i'm beyond impressed 11.4 on the street haven't gone to the track yet haven't gotten a real good prep surface haven't left on the trans brake highest rpm i could launch is 2000 rpms and once the weather started to get better which is 70 degrees here it's not necessarily cool but it's normal um the car is reacting exactly like we thought it would i was out there battling you know 150 iats in the summer once the weather cooled down to something reasonable and i found a good concrete spot in mexico um, I was able to uh, get a better 60 foot and run an 1140. That's impressive as hell to me. Single digits, uh, 60 to 130, mid 758th, all impressive numbers. 122 mile an hour, guys, for a Gen 2. That's nothing to sneeze at with a 6R80, not a 10R80. Very impressive in my opinion. And all I have for weight reduction is the seat taken out. That's pretty much it. So that'll do it for this video. I'm hoping to get to the track this Friday. See if I can, uh, if it's open, see if I can get you some track videos before I take these tires off, put some Phoenix bias plies on it and uh, launch with the trans brake. But for now, it's sub 1150 on the street. Gen 2, it will go 10s, guaranteed. Thanks for listening, guys. Talk to you later.